proactively or automatically, the company will be able to send a SMS notification regarding the bill. In this very demo, we have chosen to do this manually. There is a template of bill notification that has been established. The number of the client is inputted in the corresponding box and the text message is sent. Client will be able to consult his notification and given the fact the client's bill is ready, he will be able to consult it via the application of the company in his mobile device. Our client is David Davon. David has the company's application. He is able to access to his account to the My Info tab where he can have a glimpse of his consumption along the year. So in a snapshot, David can have access to his consumption. He will also be able to check his meter. Let's imagine that David doesn't hold a uh, digital meter he will be able to take a picture of his meter. He can also input the data manually as well. He will be able to send this over email and reconfirm that his consumption is at the level that it states in the meter. David will also be able to check his bills. For February, which is the bill corresponding to the notification that he has received, he notices that the bill is higher than the previous month. He wants to check that out and understand why is the bill so high on the invoice. David doesn't understand why the bill is so high, so he will go to Twitter and he will manifest his unhappiness posting on his Twitter how unhappy he is about having received this high bill. So David here is connecting to Twitter and he will put forward his unhappiness over a complaint tweet. David proceeds to tweet and his complaint is out there in the social ecosystem. On the company side, we will have Origo, we will have the agent toolbar, and the company will have agents dedicated to social channels using Origo social capabilities. Let's take a look. Our agent here is the operator number 11. I will make this agent available in the social channel for the sake of the demo. Here we go. This is the operator number 11 that has made himself available in the Odigo social channel. We are now connected as an Odigo social agent. And as you can notice, our Odigo social agent has received the corresponding tweet from David Davin claiming that he is not happy about his February bill and if that anyone can explain this to him. How does this work? At this point, this social interaction has come into the to dispatch folder. It is a supervisor job to categorize this threat. Given it is based on billing inquiries, he will proceed to categorize it as such. He will save the qualification and as you have noticed, this social interaction has moved from the to dispatch folder to the new folder. This is a common folder for all agents. The agent we are demoing here, the operator 11, is able to see that there is a billing inquiry that the customer David Davin is complaining about. The operator 11 in the social channel will engage with it and as you have been able to see, this interaction has now moved to the processing folder which is specific to each agent so the agent operator 11 will be able to reply to this hi david please go to the following url you will be able to find all relevant info on your bills i have replied to david i will now proceed to send the response to our client from the client's side, as you remember, we are using Google Chrome to represent in this demo what the client would be using as a browser. And as you may have noticed, David Davon has a notification on his Twitter. I noticed that CG Power Company has replied to me as a client. Hi, David. Please go to the following URL. I will follow up the instructions that have been provided. On the client side, using Google Chrome, David has been redirected to the CG Power website. 
he has logged in and he will be able to find all relevant information on his consumption and his bills. David wants to go fast, so he decides to engage with the virtual assistant that is also available on the website. My bill is very high. Can you explain why? The virtual assistant is programmed to qualify his request and replies back to David wanting to gather more information about the customer and his consumption behavior. The client replies, the virtual agent replies back with further questions to further qualify and be able to provide the proper answer. Again, the virtual agent's knowledge base is programmed so that he can identify, qualify, eliminate queries in order to determine whether put David, in this case, in contact with a live agent or provide the answer on its own. The virtual agent provides a more complete answer and connects automatically the client with a live chat agent because it has considered that the request is critical enough to make the escalation. On the company side, moving to Firefox, as you remember that everything related to the company, we are demonstrating it here on Firefox. We seen that for about a minute, there is a request coming on the live chat channel. The live chat agent has the prior context relevant to the conversation that David the client had with the virtual assistant. So very quickly, he can see that it is about the bill. And if it were necessary, for instance, the live chat agent could look at the relevant knowledge bases, knowledge items that may be able to answer the question to the client. For the sake of this demo, we are simulating that the live chat agent engages directly with the client. Going back to the client point of view, you may have noticed that the chat box has changed. There is the picture of the potential live chat agent that is behind the conversation now and we see the difference between the assistant standing for the virtual assistant and the advisor standing for the live chat agent operator 11 in this case. Let's imagine the situation that David the client wants to dig a bit in depth on the explanation about his bill and that he provides a deeper complaint to the live chat agent. Going back to the company's point of view on Firefox, the live chat agent using Odigo agent toolbar on this corresponding channel, after this very quick exchange with the customer, realizes that the client might be unsatisfied. Proactively, this live agent will offer a callback to the client. On the client side, David Davon, our client, perceives the proactiveness, is somewhat relieved, and offers his number to the live chat agent. On the company side, using Firefox, the corresponding agent will proceed to make an outbound call. The agent will make himself available on the voice channel and will proceed to make an outbound call. What you hear here is Odigo calling the agent. And now the agent can input the client's number and make the phone call. The client answers. The Odigo agent operator number 11 in this case is now in communication with the client David Davon on the voice channel. He will be able to go over David's case and will be able to have access to further information regarding his consumption that he will be able to explain, go through a specific questionnaire to understand David Davon's behavior with energy consumption and be able to provide the proper answer with regards to the reason why his bill is higher than the previous month, this month. Once this is over, the client has his answer, he is now happy and the Odigo agent is able to hang up the call.
A week later, this same client is moving out from his house. Typically, what he will do to communicate to CG Power Company his change of situation will be through the company's mobile app. He will connect to the application, and for the sake of this demo, I will show you the remaining tab, My Contacts tab. In this tab, the client will be able to contact CG Power's customer care and he will be able to have somebody on the line relevant to answer questions regarding the categories that you have here on the client's mobile app screen. Our client, David Davond, will proceed to engage with the Move In, Move Out category. Odigo's smart call feature allows the client to enroll in a queue without having to pay for any waiting time. So the client will proceed to register. At the very moment that he has registered, and as you have been able to notice, the agent on the company side, skillful for this request, has been booked, has been reserved. On the client side, David Dallin will proceed to call now. The agent is selected, alerted, and called. Before engaging into the call, as you have seen on the agent toolbar displayed here on the screen, the agent had a prior context on the client making the interaction. In this case, David Davond is calling CG Power, and the Odigo agent on the voice channel has been able to identify him beforehand, before being on call. The agent is able to answer to David's requests. He knows who David is. He has the relevant information on the CRM. Once the interaction is over, the agent will hang up from the agent toolbar. And there is a wrap-up time that you can see here on the agent toolbar that allows the agent to take a breath or proceed to another action that is relevant for the case. Thank you very much. People matter, results count.